Learn English easily. A new friend. In a quiet and peaceful town called Pineville, there lived a young girl named Lucy. Lucy had bright eyes and a cheerful smile, and she lived in a cozy house with her family. She was eight years old and had a big dream. More than anything in the world, Lucy wished to have a puppy as her friend. She would often talk about it with her parents and even draw pictures of the puppy she imagined. Lucy loved spending time outdoors. Her house had a big garden filled with colorful flowers, tall trees, and chirping birds. On one particularly sunny and warm day, Lucy was playing in her garden. She was chasing butterflies and laughing as they fluttered around her. Suddenly, while she was near the tall rose bushes, Lucy heard a soft, unhappy sound. Curious, she followed the sound and was surprised to find a small brown puppy. This wasn't just any puppy. It had a unique white spot on its tail, which made it look very special. The puppy's big eyes looked up at Lucy, and she could see that. It was afraid and confused. It seemed as if the puppy had lost its way and didn't know where to go. Lucy's heart melted when she saw the puppy. She slowly approached it, making sure not to scare the little creature. Hey there, little one, she whispered gently. The puppy looked at Lucy with hopeful eyes, and Lucy knew she had to help. Lucy saw the small puppy and felt a strong urge to help it. She took slow and quiet steps towards it, making sure she didn't make any sudden movements. That might scare the puppy away. With a soft and inviting voice, Lucy called out, Come here, little one. Her words were filled with warmth and kindness. To Lucy's delight, the puppy responded positively to her call. Its tail began to wag back and forth in a joyful rhythm, showing that it trusted Lucy. With each step Lucy took, the puppy took one, too, slowly moving closer to her until they were within arm's reach of each other. Using both of her hands, Lucy gently scooped up the puppy, feeling its soft fur and warm body against her arms. She could feel the puppy's tiny heart beating fast, but as she held it close, it started to calm down. Lucy decided to take the puppy inside her house, where it would be safe and warm. She carefully walked through the door and set the puppy down on the kitchen floor. Knowing that the puppy might be thirsty and hungry, Lucy quickly fetched a bowl of fresh water and placed it in front of the puppy. She also found some leftover chicken in the fridge, which she shredded into small pieces and offered to the puppy. The little brown puppy, with a white-tipped tail, eagerly drank the water and munched on the chicken bits. Lucy watched with a big smile on her face, knowing that she had done something good. The puppy's eyes sparkled with happiness and gratitude, and Lucy felt a deep bond forming between them. Lucy thought hard about what to name the puppy. She wanted the name to be perfect. After thinking for a while, she decided to name him Spot because of the white spot on his tail. Spot seemed to like his new name because he wagged his tail every time Lucy called him. Lucy looked down at the playful puppy, now named Spot because of the white mark on his tail. A thought crossed her mind. Maybe Spot belongs to someone. She thought. What if there's a family out there? missing him and feeling sad. She imagined a child like her, looking everywhere for their lost furry friend. 
determined to do the right thing. Lucy decided to let everyone know she had found a lost puppy. She searched for a big piece of cardboard and some colorful markers. Carefully, with big, bold letters, she wrote found puppy on the cardboard. Below the words, she drew a small picture of a brown puppy with a white tail, hoping it would catch someone's attention. After she was done, she proudly placed the sign in a visible spot, right in front of her house, making sure everyone passing by could see it. Wanting to spread the word even further, Lucy thought of her friends and neighbors. Maybe someone had heard about a lost puppy, with Spot following close behind. Wagging his tail, Lucy went from door to door. She knocked gently, showed a picture of Spot, and asked, Have you heard about anyone missing a puppy? Many of her neighbors were kind and helpful, but no one knew of a missing puppy. Lucy thanked them and continued her search, hopeful that she would find Spot's real family. If not, she was ready to give him a loving home herself. As the days went by and no one came forward to claim Spot, Lucy wanted to make sure he was happy and not feeling too lonely. Every morning she would put on Spot's leash, and together they would go to the big park in the middle of Pineville. The park was Lucy's favorite place. It had wide open spaces, with tall green trees and colorful flowers everywhere. There was also a playground, where children laughed and played. Lucy brought along a bouncy ball for Spot to play with. She would throw it far, and Spot, with his tail wagging excitedly, would chase after it, always bringing it back to Lucy with a joyful bark. As they played, other children would stop and watch. Many of them would come over, their eyes wide with curiosity. Can I pet him? They would ask shyly. Lucy would smile and nod, and soon Spot was surrounded by giggling children, all wanting to stroke his soft fur or play fetch with him. The sun would set and by the end of each day at the park, both Lucy and Spot would be tired but happy. They had so much fun together, running around, laughing, and playing with other kids. It was clear to anyone who saw them that Lucy and Spot shared a special bond. They weren't just a girl and her dog. They were the best of friends. The days slowly passed and each day that went by was a reminder that no one had come to claim the playful puppy named Spot. Lucy's parents noticed the strong bond growing between Lucy and Spot. They saw the joy in Lucy's eyes every time she played with him, and the way Spot's tail wagged with happiness whenever Lucy was near. The laughter and giggles filled their home, and it was evident that Spot brought so much joy to Lucy's life. One evening, Lucy's parents sat her down for a chat. With smiles on their faces, they told her, Lucy, we've seen how much you and Spot care for each other. You two belong together. We've decided that Spot can stay with us forever. Lucy's eyes lit up with joy and surprise. She hugged her parents tight and then ran to Spot, wrapping her arms around him. She whispered in his ear, You're home now, Spot. As the years went by, Lucy and Spot shared countless memories. They went on many adventures, exploring the woods behind Lucy's house, having picnics by the river, and even camping under the stars. Every year, on Spot's found day, they celebrate his birthday with a special cake and presents. 
Their garden became their favorite playground. They played fetch, chased butterflies, and even had a special spot under a big tree where they would lie down and rest after a day of fun. Spot grew bigger, his paws became stronger, and his bark became louder. But to Lucy, he remained the same little puppy. She had found that sunny day. No matter how big he got, in her eyes, he was always her little spot. Time moved on, but one thing remained constant, the unbreakable bond between Lucy and Spot. They were more than just friends. They were like two peas in a pod, always together, sharing every moment of their lives. Lucy learned that sometimes, unexpected things can bring the most joy. Spot was not just a pet. He was her best friend. They looked out for each other and shared many happy memories. Lucy realized that true friendship is a precious gift. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.